The proper placement of earth fill is an important operation in any construction project. Settlement of fill adjacent to foundations or retaining walls can lead to damaged structures or cracked slabs. At the approach to bridges, settlement leads to a drop-off, requiring continuous maintenance to restore the roadway. Clearly, an alternative to conventional earth fill is needed. Flowable fill is that alternative, and fly ash is the key to quality flowable fill. Fly ash is mixed with water and other materials to make a flowable fill. A mixture that flows like a liquid, sets up like a solid, is self-leveling and requires no compaction or vibration in order to achieve maximum in-place density. In addition to these benefits, a properly designed flowable fill may be excavated at a later date. For some mixes, an optional filler material such as sand, bottom ash, or quarry fines is added. But one fact remains. The single most important ingredient in flowable fill is fly ash. If you examine fly ash under an electron microscope, you see why it is so significant in the mix. These hard, glassy, spherical particles, when combined with water, have a lubricating effect in the mixture. The fly ash particles flow much more easily than either soil or aggregate particles of similar size, giving flowable fill superior fluid properties. Flowable fill is occasionally referred to by other names, such as controlled low-strength material, controlled density fill, flowable fly ash, fly ash grout, fly ash slurry. This material may also be marketed locally by ready-mixed concrete suppliers, local utilities, or ash marketers under a variety of trade names. Regardless of which name is used, flowable fill is the most widely known and accepted. There is a wide range of mixed designs available for flowable fill, but in all cases, the key ingredient is coal fly ash. Flowable fill mixes can contain almost all fly ash with little or no Portland cement and enough water to make the mix flowable. Other flowable fill mixes can contain a high percentage of filler material, such as sand or bottom ash, a low percentage of fly ash and cement, and enough added water to make a flowable mix. Either low calcium or high calcium fly ash can be used in flowable fill mixes. Low calcium fly ash has pozzolanic characteristics and is typically used in combination with cement. High calcium fly ash may be self-cementing upon contact with water. In areas where both low calcium and high calcium fly ashes are available, their use can be combined. Fly ash used in flowable fill does not have to meet strict specifications such as those governing the use of fly ash in concrete. Fly ash with a wide range of loss on ignition can be used in flowable fill. Here, a low calcium, moisture conditioned fly ash is being stockpiled for use in flowable fill mixes. Also, reclaimed ash from settling ponds is suitable for use in flowable fill. Flowable fill can be produced and delivered in at least three ways. A ready mixed or central plant is often used to produce flowable fill mixes. The mix is delivered to the job site in standard ready mixed concrete trucks and the material is unloaded by means of a discharge chute. Although it can be placed in any way that concrete is placed, it is much more easily handled. Secondly, in large volume applications, it may be more economical to establish an on-site mixing operation. A pug mill mixer is well suited for such conditions. Finally, mobile, volumetric truck mixers are sometimes used to produce and deliver flowable fill. This type of vehicle is useful when small batches are delivered to a site or specialized mixes are needed. Flowable fill can be pumped or placed using a bucket, a conveyor, a tremie, or a hose. The material is easily placed in hard-to-reach areas. When the mix is properly designed, flowable fill does not segregate even if dropped over large vertical depths or pumped over long vertical and horizontal distances. The four most important physical characteristics of flowable fill mixtures are strength development and excavatability, flowability, setting time, and shrinkage. Strength development and excavatability of flowable fill depends on the mix design. Flowable fill with a compressive strength of 50 psi or less can be excavated manually. 
Mixtures with compressive strengths of 100 to 200 PSI may be excavated with mechanical equipment. Applications of flowable fill not requiring future excavation, such as bridge abutment backfill, may require higher strengths. Flowability is an indication of how well a mix will flow during placement. Flowable fill is usually self-leveling and does not require any compacting once it has been placed. However, special applications may require a material of low slump or flowability. Flowability can be controlled by adjusting the water content. A slump cone may be used to indicate flowability. Another way to assess flowability is to use a standard flow cone. The most convenient method is a test involving a 3 inch by 6 inch plastic cylinder mold with the bottom removed. Flowable fill is poured into the cylinder and the cylinder is lifted. Flowability is indicated by the diameter of the flow. The American Society for Testing and Materials has standard test methods that are used to indicate flowability. Because of its fluid nature, flowable fill must be confined during placement. Flowable fill exerts hydrostatic pressures. Thus, limiting the depth of placements is sometimes necessary. The setting time of flowable fill is more a function of rapid consolidation of solid particles than of chemical reactions. Bearing capacity can normally be achieved several hours after placement. If needed, chemical admixtures can also be used to accelerate the setting time. Shrinkage of flowable fill may be approximately one-eighth inch per foot of depth due to bleeding or evaporation of water. Flowable fill has numerous applications. The most frequent use is in backfilling of trenches. When backfilling trenches, flowable fill can be placed in the excavation without the need for shoring or having workers in the trench. Congested pipe banks can be sealed rapidly and effectively and standing water can easily be displaced using flowable fill. Flowable fill can be placed much faster than earth fill. Another application is in the placement of backfill for bridge abutments, retaining walls, or foundation walls. The cost of bridge replacement can be reduced by 50% or more using flowable fill. The Iowa Department of Transportation pioneered a technique in which pipes are inserted under the bridge and bulkheaded on either end. The space between the bridge and the pipes is then sealed with flowable fill. The old bridge is no longer visible from the finished roadway. Flowable fill is used by city and county engineers to seal abandoned culverts, pipes, and eroded spaces under roadways. Applications for flowable fill are limited only by the imagination of the user. Guidance for the use of flowable fill is available from the American Concrete Institute, Federal Highway Administration, National Ready Mixed Concrete Association, Portland Cement Association, and American Coal Ash Association. Flowable fill is a versatile engineering material with the flexibility to satisfy unique job requirements and fly ash is the key to quality flowable fill.